Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Apocalypse here, and I'm bringing you something a little bit different today. This is a tutorial on Sony Vegas 9, and primarily this was going to be a video for one of my subscribers who's struggling a little bit with Vegas as he's just he's just acquired it, and I was going to do this and send it to him, but I thought, you know what, I'll release it, because maybe a few more people might want to know the, the slight basics. So what you want to do is click on File. Click on new, because it's a new project. And these are the settings you want in your new project. These are the HD settings. HDV 720 by 30p, 1280 by 720 to 29,970 frames per secondo. Um, that is second, by the way. 1280 by 720 width height underneath. Field order progressive none, pixel aspect ratio 1000, pixel format 8 bit. Oh, this bit I think is important as a goal up here. Full resolution rendering quality at best. So you click OK, and that's ready to go. Then, what you want to do is bring your media over. So you can either go to Import and Media, and that will open up your box, and you click and OK. But I just prefer to do it this way. It's a lot more simpler for me. So I get my media the usual way, and let's move that out of the way and take a piece of footage, left click, drag, drop. Drag and drop, always easier for me. And then just get take that and, and put it on your timeline. I mean, what I'm sh a lot of these you may know, but this took me to learn everything I'm going to show you now. It took me about 30 videos to watch of different people doing different things. So I might be telling your grandmother how to suck eggs, but maybe you might need to understand this. I don't know. So... As you can see, it's a bit grey and a bit gloomy, so we want to deal with the video effects to deal with that. But if I show you what you've got here, you've got your transitions. These are the things that take it from one scene to another. I generally don't bother because I think transitions are a bit naff. So for now, we want video preview. If you look on your screen, this is a HD PVR recording. You've got this nice little black edge around the top. I know some people get it differently, but that's where I always get it. It's like a, a fault or a cancer within the PVR system. I don't know why it does it, why they've never fixed it, but hey, it's a, it's a pain. So if you've got Vegas, you can get rid of it. Um, if you're using any other kind of editing material, it's a pain and you're just stuck with it, I think. So this is what you do on Vegas. You go into your timeline, you go right to the end. You find this little bit here, this little square that says event, pan and crap. Click that. And there you go, you've got a duplicate screen. Now, if you look around the edges of your screen on your duplicate screen, you've got this little dotted line with a selection of squares strategically placed. If you imagine that is your TV screen, or your computer screen, should I say, that's your computer screen. So essentially what you want to do is use these squares in the corner to close your computer screen up, therefore making these black lines disappear out of sight, out of mind. So, I always go to the bottom right hand corner of this, it's just my way. Left click, hold, and then drag it in. If you watch on the left hand side, it'll just disappear. You don't want to bring it in too much, but just drag it inwards slightly. And there we go. Black lines, no more. Quite simple. I mean, you don't need much. If you imagine in millimeters, then you're literally going in a millimeter to two millimeters tops. The reason you don't want to go in too much is because you've got a lot going on on your screen and you don't want to lose your kill feed or your or your HUD or anything like that. So, so yeah, as you can see as I go through the game as a whole, it, uh, it's all the way through. So that's good. And you don't need to do any more. That's it. You don't need to save it. You will need to do it every video, um, but you don't need to save it or do anything like that. It's, uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. What I really want to do is shorten this down a bit so I can essentially duplicate it and give you an idea, excuse me, of the difference between using colour correction and not using colour correction. You click on where you want to uh, split it, you press S on the keyboard to split, that will split up your, your media, and then you right click and delete. So there you have it. Just a little bit of footage, probably could do with shortening that a little bit more maybe, but... We'll come to that in a bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite... Oh, there we go. Nice double kill for you, sir, with your nade. Random nade. Yeah, I'll stretch that out. 
you, you can use these here, but I use the ball on my mouse to stretch it out or thin it out or whatever. So click on there, press S, press delete. I want to duplicate this to give you an idea. Right click, and I go, where is it? Right, uh, where is it? Copy, copy, oh there, copy. Right click, copy, and then right click and paste. And there you have it. You have two identical pieces of footage. So I'm going to color correct one, and I'm not going to color correct t'other. So what you want to do is go into your video effects, and I use three. The rest of them I don't use. They all do something. They're all handy. Um, I've actually used one or two once before, but primarily you want um, three, and I use brightness and contrast. So what you want to do is go to reset to none and drag and drop that and follow these settings. But I'll show you the settings that I have saved, and those settings are as follows. So you left click on this one, which is your Call of Duty one, but it won't be. It will be uh, reset to none. It all gets confusing, but you will get it. So you drag on the piece of footage you want to correct, drag, drop, go over here, and you should have something that looks like this. Now these are the settings you want to use. You've got your brightness, which is at 0, 0, 0, contrast at 030, and contrast center at 50. The main one you will move is contrast. I think the other two are preset, if I remember rightly. So move the contrast over to 30, and what that will do is, if we go into video preview, bang. That's already that's darkened it up. So it's gone from that horrible faded look over here. So you can see it's a bit, ooh, what's going on? Has somebody let a smoke bomb off? It's, um, it's nice and dark. Everything stands out a lot more. So always make sure that's at 30. That's the main thing. Okay. So the next one you want to use is the color corrector, which is there. Again, you've got your reset to none. That is what you will use. So when you drag and drop that, the settings you want to use are the ones I've got here on the Call of Duty. And I will show you how to preset and save that so you never have to keep changing it. It's always there. Drag and drop. Move it over. Now you've got a few settings there. It all looks a bit confusing. Ignore. Ignore everything. This is the one you want. Saturation. And you want to move that over to, well, I have it at 1.125, but if I really want to bring those colors out and make them vibrant, I drag that over just a little bit, and I normally make it about 1.333. And that really brings everything out. It makes all those reds nice and vibrant, the blues deep. It, it does it all nice. So I keep meaning to save that at that, actually. And as you can see, look at the hood or the green stand out a lot more. The colours are a lot sharper, and I'll, I'll try and give you a bit of an example by sort of matching them. If you can see, yeah, it's it's dark there. If I go back, oh, it's red. I've obviously been shot. I'll try and find a better part than that. Yeah, you, you can see that the colours are nice, and they stand out, but not too much. They're not too imposing. I see some people, and they, they go far too over the top with it, and it's almost like, whoa, sunglasses, please. So if that, those work for me anyway. Obviously, they're not going to be for everybody, but there you go. So that's your brightness, contrast, your color corrector. And last, but by no means least, you want sharpen. When we get sharpen up, you can see you've got these settings here. You've got reset to none, medium, heavy, you untitled, blah, blah. But you see I've got the Call of Duty one again. So I'm, I'll, I will show you how to set it to preset so you don't have to keep fannying about and doing all this all the time. But here's the setting I use. 0.201. Now, that makes everything just stand out, crisp, sharp, all the edges, stops them from fading into each other. It's perfect for me, that is. I find that perfect. I've done some downloading before, and I've tried uploading old downloads, and it's crap, so you have to move it right up. But, yeah, that should be just about right for you. I would stick with that. So just make sure you pause this as you go along. If you want to preset this, you simply click on preset, type in, I don't know, Call of Duty like I have or whatever. And then get to that little disk. And as soon as you click that disk, that will save it. And then when you get your screen up, it will just say Call of Duty like mine does there. And you just drag and drop that and it's always set. You can change it if you want. Then when you go back to it on another 
project, it will still be at 201, so it, it's, it's up to you. Those are the settings, the three, the magic three that I use. So what I'll do is I'll show you an example um, side by side of how these look, and then we will go on to the render settings. And there you go. One's grey, faded, quite miserable looking, hard to see. And then you've got our colour corrected side, which is, it all stands out. I mean, it looks a bit blurry because it's in motion, because I'm rushing with a shotgun. But, um, yeah, you kind of get the gist of it as I move it about. You can see just, it just looks so much fresher and it stands out so much more. The next phase is to get it rendered and set, ready to upload to YouTube. Now, this is quite simple. Simply go up to File and go down to Render As. Click on that, and there you have it down the bottom. Those are your settings you want. Sony AVC, MP4, M2TS, and AVC. If you click on the arrow on the right, we obviously your name, name it whatever you want to name it, so Call of Duty, I don't know. Really inventive thoughts there. <laughs> call of Duty settings, they'll call it that. Go over to there, right click, and you've got Sony AVC MP4 M2TS. And if you go down here, it's got internet 16.9 HD 25p. Those are the ones you want. Those give you the, I believe, the almost the best HD settings. There are settings you can use if you want to make it a lot, lot sharper, but you are literally looking at about two hours of upload time. Probably worse if you've got really slow internet. And there you have it rendering just nicely. So it's uh, it's all good. And then once that's rendered, that'll be in your file under uh, whatever, whatever you've named it as. And then you simply go and put it on YouTube, as you probably already know. So I'll cancel that so I don't need it. Um, I hope in some respects that's helped you out. It took me quite a bit to, to get to that stage of learning. And I know there's a lot more, but... I'll leave it with you to ask the questions if you need to know any more. And uh, I will see you later, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.